Well, let's turn this McLaren back row into something. Yellow flag. Oh, oh! Let's go. More F122 gameplay. Big thank you to Codemasters and EA. Today, we are racing around the British Grand Prix, driving as Lando Norris. And, uh, yeah, we're going to test out VR. VR is a new thing on the Formula 1 22 game. If you guys like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to see plenty more F1 22 gameplay. There's going to be plenty more from it on my channel. Also, my Clips channel. You, you won't want to miss out on the clips that we make from this. I hear you wonder, where's the porpoising in F1 22? Well... The beautiful thing about VR is, you can generate the porpoising yourself. Just like this. There we go. I'm just like Charles Leclerc. Oh my word, that is so hard to spot. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know how these drivers do it. I don't know how they spot apexes when they're bouncing around like crazy. Oi! Across the line. Latifi. And Lando Norris starts from the back of the grid. Yay! Preparations almost. Where am I? Azarov. No me. Sad times. All right, here we are on the grid. Oh, whoa, that was trippy. Of the British Grand Prix, we're going to underfuel this car. Soft to medium. I'm not sure I'm going to have the pace here, guys. We're running nine, eighteen wings out of fifty. Maybe I want to bring that up a bit. Suspension and front anti-roll bar looks a little bit dodgy. But this is pretty much the uh, the preset of um, increased top speed. Oh, and we've got some rain for later on in the Grand Prix. Let's do this. Race start in VR. Starting is Lando Norris. From the back of the grid. Where's the lights? I can't see the... Where are the lights? Oh, it's formation lap. Right. The tires and brakes oh through the lap, no, I'm going to need a pair of binoculars to see the lights! I need glasses! But I genuinely... Oh, nice. Hey! I want to go on that this year. I need a better headset. This I can see the pixels. It's not a fault of the game. This headset's a good few years old now. That or I've got the settings wrong. But I've always found VR to be a little bit blurry for my eyes. So I think getting a better headset will fix that. How, how's my tyres? A little bit cold, especially on the fronts. Warm the tyres. Sky looks okay. Hey, there's a chopper over there. Hey! <laughs> Don't look at the choppers. This is sick. VR looks incredible. Especially now with those fins over the tyres. You kind of have to look around them and look around the halo. But this, this, this is cool. I hope it comes across on camera how good this is. Time for the manual grid slot. I got it wrong last time, but now I know where I'm going. Purple! Yes! Alright, let's start this race. I can see some lights now. Mum, I'm racing in Formula One! This is real. This is as real as it gets for me. <laughs> Let's go! Wow, I have a little bit of fear creeping in. I actually feel like I'll hurt myself if I bin the car. Oh dear. I'm slow. Guys, I'm really slow. Guys, I can't I can't drive. I'm washed up. I need a Ferrari. Okay, expect to see some rain about 10 to 15 minutes from now. Good! Ah, nice and close to the lights this time. And we are off. Away we go! Oh, there goes the engine. This is fine. It, everything's fine. Oh, there goes my teammate. See you later, mate. This is a uh, first to last challenge. Like, the YouTube market is, is far too saturated with last to first challenge content. The real challenge is going from the front to the back. Hey, seems a bit better now. Tires are warmer. 
I can settle into this race a bit more. Having some teething issues, um, it has to be said, with this video. So sorry if it's a bit all over the place. It will get better. I will get better as well for the full version of the game. Alright, so here we are in VR. We can actually drive in cockpit cam properly. We can look around and, and see past the halo column. You can look in your mirrors. That's also a problem when your camera is stationary. Oh! When your camera is fixed, the mirrors are actually out of sight, but you can you can physically check oh my god. You can check them! <laughs> we'll be it do it briefly, because that will happen. We're approaching the pit window and you're gonna be on mediums. Or oh, DRS now. You can see the the, the wing is open. This is so cool, guys. Once we get it up and working, VR is so fun. It's so immersive. I'd say cold tires makes a huge difference on this game. The amount of confidence I've got now is ridiculous versus these guys. Come on! Do I send it? Oh, I nearly hit my teammate! <laughs> wrong, wrong sim damage as well, by the way. I don't actually know who's behind me. I'm going to have to ask. I've got no HUD. It's beautiful, actually. It's a much more cinematic experience. Come on, Carlos! Oh, no! Spinala! You really have to treat these cars with respect. Yeah, just let go. Just, I just... That, that doesn't happen on the previous games. I think it's worth mentioning as well, you can turn on the HUD if you want to. But this is just the more immersive experience. Um, HUD is turned off by default, but if you really want to know who's in front of you, who's behind you, where the delta is, the lap count, everything, you can turn it on. So when I bring up the MFD, oh, like that, it'll, that. it'll move around relative to where you're looking. So just worth mentioning. If there's any questions you guys have about F122, put them down in the comments and I'll answer them in a future video. I'm going to do a video where I go over everything that's new with this game. So make sure you subscribe for that. How's the tire wear? Oh, it's pretty bad actually. Time to find out what a pit stop looks like in VR. No one followed us in from what I can see. There's the podium. Hopefully we'll be up there at some point today. Manual pit stop. Let's do it. Ah! Alright, change the tyres, boys. On to mediums. We're off. I didn't actually see the green light, I had to guess. Oh, boy. Cold tyres, cold tyres. Whoa, a safety car! The safety car's out! When did this happen? Where's the safety car out? Hello? I had no warning. Why is the, why is the safety car out? Who crashed? I need HUD. Is that... Wait, water's falling on the screen. Water! It's raining! Set intermediate tyres. Okay, we'll fit inters on your next stop. The drops on my visor are there. It actually feels like a visor with VR as well. This will be really interesting. Is everyone going to go to inters as well? Oh, everyone's stacking. There's lots of stacking here. Damn it! I still know better. Everyone else is going on to Inters as well. There's the light. Come on, let's go. Oh! <laughs> that was a dangerous re-entry. Sorry. Sorry. I just, I went when I was told. Track is definitely wet. Out we go. I have no idea where I am in the fields. I feel so on my own. In, in, vi Jeff. Oh, wow, bring back Jeff. Because my current engineer didn't tell me there was even a safety car. I had no notification. I may as well showcase the porpoising. There we go. We've all missed it. That's how you get porpoising in the F1 game. G'day, Lewis. Hello. Uh, Lewis is busy. He's in the zone. This is such a cool experience, guys. Like, I can't believe this is actually in the F1 game now. It's been a long time coming. Let me know what you think. Personally, I can't wait to try this at Monaco! So 
safety car coming in this lap. Maybe I should turn the HUD on. I feel like I'm missing out on some crucial information here. This is when you need extra radio verbiosity from, from your engineer. This one's for you. I'm going to try and win. But first, I just need to try and stay on the track. Oh my word, the tires are cold. Off we go. I think I'm getting VR fatigue now. The sweat is emerging in the headset. I can feel it on the seal around my face. It's the immersion of the rain. That's what it is. Codemaster's giving that extra detail. Oh, I'm falling off it. Oh, I'm getting overtaken by the Alpine. This is hard. Thanks. At least I'm not sick. At least I'm not feeling sick. Oh, I might in a second. I've been touched by someone. One of the Red Bulls, I think it was. Vehicle condition. Okay, the underbody's taken some damage. You might start to notice it soon. Okay, this is your final lap. Final lap of the race. Oh, this is the last lap as well. Oh, I had no idea. And I'm in the bin. I'm in the bin. Engineer, these are the things you need to tell me. I still, I, I thought I still had like half of the race to go. Anyway, F1 in... Oh, massive slide! For the Aston Martin, I'm going to send it any... I'm going to send it. I'm going to send it. I'm going to send it. I sent it. We're okay? We're okay. Oh, my word. Across the line. That is something. I am not happy with how that race went. So, I got to do a little extra. Right. Oh, wow. P19. Codemasters have not niced us in this race. Oh. oh, it's a McLaren back row. As if. Oh, and I'm out. What's happened to my depth perception? Oh, I've just gone right in the back of him. <laughs> Good. Well, let's turn this McLaren back row into something. Yellow flag. Oh! oh! Wow, that was a big one. It's Aston Martin who just went into the back of the Alpha Tauri and then I had nowhere to go. Hey, we managed to avoid it this time. Oh, there's another one on the inside. I've got information on Albon for you. They're retiring from the race. Oh, really? All right, it's game on again. What can we do in the Daniel Ricciardo mobile? Aston Martin looking racy. Oh, another spin. Oh, no. F122 is brutal. Oh my goodness. Green flag. As we head on to the last lap here, guys. I'll play the engine sounds with no talking. So you guys can take it in properly. Wish me luck. DRS now enables. DRS enables. Job, nice overtake. Ah, oh, sorry to disturb the peace and quiet. We got squeezed. Last corner. What a race. That was a manic race in Austria. <laughs> Where do we... P7. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it. Wow, P7 from the back of the grid in three laps. The AI really helped me out there. Driver of the day. Lovely stuff. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently, and it's clear to see that they've put in the work, and they should be so proud of the victory they secured here. Boom. There we go. That is F1 22 in VR. Let me know what you thought, guys. I guess my initial impressions are 
Um, it is a little bit buggy at the moment. There's some audio glitches about. Um, and I can't see crystal clear through my headset. I think that's the headset problem. This is the thing I've always had with VR. Is um, it doesn't look quite as crisp as you're actually seeing it on a screen. But in terms of the immersion that you get, it can't be matched. I honestly love VR and I need to do it more to be more VR fit, if that makes sense. Don't feel nauseous, don't feel sick at all. Um, Codemasters have played it quite safe on the whole camera shake and smooth movements and everything. So, from that standpoint, um, you should be okay um, in terms of not feeling sick or anything. But I uh, really enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And see plenty more racing game content from me on F122. Let me know what videos I should make next. And I'll see you guys very soon for more gameplay.